We've got tips and recipes for healthy living. So for fun and inspiration, come and join us in the raw food world. Nabbers. <laughs> Welcome, everybody. This is Matt Monarch with the Raw Food World TV show. And today is Friday, February 22nd, January 22nd. It only says the number there. It doesn't say the month. January 22nd. And today is a very special day because Angela's got all these things to talk about. Well, tomorrow is a very special day. Tell me why. Isn't it somebody's birthday? Oh, I think it's a few people's birthdays. Ooh, maybe and I should pick my nose. Blah, blah. No. Two of the special people whose birthdays it is are... Sandy in Florida. Hello, Sandy. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Sandy is apparently an avid viewer of the Raw Food World TV show, and her daughters wrote to us asking if we can send birthday blisses to Sandy, who has apparently been into this kind of lifestyle since the 60s. So all birthday blissings going out to Sandy. Do we know anything else about Sandy? Like her last name? No, she's she's a self declared flexitarian. That's what I know. What's a flexitarian? She's very flexible. That's something I want to talk about in the future. Is flexing the neck muscles? Oh my god, you guys! We'll talk about this maybe tomorrow or the next day or a year from now or something. <laughs> but we're gonna talk about it. Maybe in the same day when we show them coconut kefir and dehydrated something else. Yeah, maybe. Um, and another very special person whose birthday is tomorrow, whose name also begins with S, is Shazzle Dazzle Shazzy over in the UK. Happy birthday, sister. Um, Shazzy is yet another raw Aquarian, just like this one. There's a lot of you guys, isn't there? Shazzy's an Aquarius person? Yeah. Oh, no wonder. <laughs> If you haven't noticed yet, there's a lot of raw Aquarians, just like there's a lot of raw Leos. We once were at a raw potluck and we did a survey in the room of who was Aquarius or Leo and every single person in the room was Aquarius or Leo except one person who was a Pisces. Wow. Maybe it's something that has to do with the stars and the universe. Mm. And so Shazzy, happy birthday tomorrow and she's doing a very special giveaway on her blog if you'd like to go and check that out um her blog is shazzy.com slash blog and she is giving away a prize of 23 wonderful items from her store her online store wow. um if you leave a comment on her blog or on i think she said on her facebook as well um, and you have to tell her the 23 things that you most want in life. I think that's what it was. Anyway, you can check it out on her blog and she's going to choose a winner and then you could win a big basket of goodies from her site. It's Mr. Monarch's birthday soon as well, isn't it? Uh -huh. Yes, it is. What's Mr. Monarch going to do for his Aquarius birthday? Work. Oh, no. Nah. I'm a little bit of a workaholic lately. We have a lot of behind the scene projects that are, have happened and are happening. Yeah. So moving on, wasn't there something I want to talk about? We had questions. Yes, we have lots of questions about colon cleansing coming in especially. <laughs> Let me see, I think I have some over here. Um, okay. I'm so vain. I don't even wash my hair. What? That was for DG. Oh. Okay. We've got lots of special requests today. Yeah, I don't even get it. Get it. I just think it's funny. I don't know what vain means, I think. <laughs> <laughs> he can't be vain then. He doesn't even know what it means. Oh. Um, all right. Now we have another special request over here. We have questions from somebody called Andre. And... Andre is asking about um, colon hydrotherapy. We did a show on enemas a couple of days ago, and he is asking, Matt, you talked about being able to take a whole one and a half quart bag 
of an enema at one time. Do you mean work up to that in one session or over time? At the moment, I have difficulty taking in half of a bag. I also wonder, are you supposed to be able to hold the water or do you let it right out? Must you wanna... Okay, so you want to work at it to get the whole entire thing in. Um, preferably, if you could do it in one session, that's great. Again, a lot of people are scared to pass through that gas pressure. But yeah, just do a lot less the first time. You need to do it five times until you can fit more and more in. And sometimes you might have to like you know, push through. Um, you don't want to hurt yourself though, but definitely try to push through. And um, yeah, you don't need to hold the water. I mean, no, I don't really believe in that. Just get it out. It comes in, takes the waste, brings it out. Next. Very good. Um, what was his name? Andre. Right. I would like to add something to that. that um, I think it's important to, and I don't think Mr. Monica agrees with this, but to get the air out of the pipe before you begin doing an enema. So let the water run through the pipe and then turn it off once it's flowing freely. Because you don't want to be like letting air into your body through the pipe. And yeah, I agree that it totally takes time to work up to being able to take lots of water into your body in one go. Like a four quart enema bag, that's a massive amount of water to be able to take in, let alone. Um, yeah, it, can, it might take over time if your body only has the vitality to handle a certain amount each day and then you build up. But you can do it in one day if you really, you know, go for it. All right. There was another question. Somebody was asking what's happening with my eyesight. Um, we were doing some shows some months back. I was... You've got beautiful eyesight. Oh, thank you. I've been helping my vision to naturally heal through stepping down my um, glasses prescription. So people have been asking how it's been going. Good, as far as I know. I haven't tried to test it with numbers or left brain activity. Um, these are the glasses I've been wearing the last few months and... They don't hurt, you know, my eyes don't hurt or anything. I also don't know if they're getting any better. And I just ordered my next three pairs of prescriptions to step down from here. So <laughs> <laughs> people keep saying the, the show's like the Blair Witch Project when he has a flip cam. That's just kind of adding to the effect. Who said that? People in the comments say it looks oh. like the Blair Witch Project. Cool. With the flip cam or with the... Okay, so was there anything else? I don't know. All right, well. Goodbye. Goodbye, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday again to Sandy and Shazzy. And it's going to be Mr. Monarch's birthday on February the 8th. Shut up. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Apparently it's not. <laughs> Nah. Hey, happy birthday, Sandy. Happy birthday, Shazzy. Much love to you both. And we've got... Andrew Stokes Monarch. And Matt Monarch. And we'll see you again tomorrow at the Raw Food World TV show. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you again at the Raw Food World.